Happy Friday, everyone. Here we are, Vlogtober day 23, coming down to the end. Less than a week away, or just about a week away. Uh, I'm obviously still suffering from mask knee. It's like one goes away, another one comes. I ordered, fortunately, the mask covers it. I've just been putting lots of stuff on it. And I ordered some specific treatment to help clear it up better, because it's not. It just keeps coming back, different spots. Get rid of one, get a new one. And these look the absolute worst. <sighs> come on truck, come around the corner without hitting me. Wow. Okay, so anyway, I am headed off to work. Full day work today, full day work tomorrow. Um, I didn't record anything yesterday except for some nice floral shots and things which I will stick in here and there. Sky was absolutely gorgeous this morning. Now it is clouding over. We are expecting rain. The temperature is currently in the low 60s, 63. It is going to drop down all day through the day today into the 50s. We're supposed to have rain for the next, on and off for the next several days. So, and it's supposed to get cold next week. So I'm betting our trees are going to finally stop just being gradual and hit the big colors. Finally, but that's typical. Get little bits here and there and then finally about the first, first weekend in November, seems like it's always the peak, first, second weekend in November. Um, anyway, I am going to look, I have uh, something I need to purchase today work. Hopefully I find what I need. It's not very exciting. I need a funnel. I have a, I bought a cleaner refill for the cats and I need to, I don't want to waste it because it's expensive. I need to pour it into its spray bottle and I need a funnel and I don't have a funnel. So yeah, a big exciting purchase today, hopefully. We have a vendor that carries all kinds of uh, kitchen stuff and utensils, vintage. So hopefully he'll have a funnel. Anyway, that's about it for me. I'll check in later, any updates. Hello, <laughs> came out so weird. It's 6.15. I just got home about 30 minutes ago. Just placed a DoorDash order for some Five Guys burgers, which we've only had once before, several years ago. And I know they do their fries in a big brown bag. Um, but the mister suggested it, so we had planned that for tonight's dinner, which is great because that's one thing I do not like to do is cook on my work nights when I have to work late. So we either get something takeout or sometimes I cook simple stuff or um, my son Liam will make things. So I'm being greeted here by a big baby who missed me, I guess, today. I'm having my first glass of wine. And I wanted to update you on the dress. I didn't get any of this filmed yesterday, but it wasn't super interesting, so you didn't miss anything. All I did was cut out all the pattern pieces, um, not to size, but just roughly. 
um, because I'm going to trace them off. And I figured out the ease. The ease is only an inch and a half, which is for a repro pattern, that's not a lot. Sometimes they have four, four and a half, five inches. So I'm probably going to go with higher up sizes to try. I was originally going to do the 20 and the 22 to compare, but since the ease is not as much as I was thinking, I will probably do the 22 and the 24. Um, I just want a really nice fit on this and I don't want it to be like so tight and whatever that I'm uncomfortable. So I'm going to make the mock-up of um, those two sizes in the um, bodice just to see which one fits better. And I should be able to, since the bodice comes down far enough, that will dictate, you know, if I need to let out any for the waistline, not have to worry about just the skirt. So just go by where it attaches um, since it's gathered anyway. I also, when I was measuring to see where the problem, where I have that fade line is, I noticed that it's only on one side of the fabric. Now, because it's a moire, the print on one side is like, you can have the flower print shiny and the background is crepe, or you can have the background crepe and the, did I just say that backwards? <laughs> okay. You can either have the background crepe and the flowers shiny or the background shiny and the flowers crepe. So the shiny flower way is the way that it is has the fade. And I think I actually like it better with the crepe flowers with the shiny background. Uh, and there's no, the fade is not on that side. So I don't have to worry about it. I, and I have enough, I measured that I have enough width for the skirt. And then I think um, I have not laid out whether I can fit the bodice pieces in a yard and the third. I think that's what I figured out that I had. Um, that'll be beyond what the skirt fits in. So one yard and one third to fit the bodice front, the bodice back. And I think the bodice front goes on the fold. So that's okay. Yeah. And yeah, so hopefully it should fit and then the sleeves um, yeah, that's just the next thing I have to check, I guess. <clears throat> now that I've cut them out, I need to lay them on the fabric and see how much room they take up. The bodice and the sleeves. Um, because if I don't have enough, then I'm going to have to order something else for either the skirt, which the skirt's going to be covered in tulle, so I kind of feel like that's a waste. That I should just use the vintage then for the top. And then I'll have to order something for the skirt. I hope I can eke it out. It seems like I should be able to. If only it was just a tad wider. But I don't know. I mean, it is 31. It's not like it's that narrow. It's not like 28. Because those three inches make a big difference. Um... I don't know, 31 is kind of short though, isn't it? Because with all the numbers in my head now, I've totally forgotten. I've totally forgotten what was the normal width, like 42? I think so. Yeah, because 51, 53. Anyway, um, so I didn't buy anything at work today because I ran out of time. That doesn't mean I don't have something sitting and waiting for me tomorrow. Um, I may have found a set of six Blue Heaven dinner plates. Yep. Uh, now, I have not been collecting Blue Heaven because usually I don't get my hands on it. I do have um, two pieces of Blue Heaven Fire King, um, which I love. 
and um, yeah, they're only like $18.50 for the set of six, which I think is a fantastic price and from one of my favorite sellers, so I think they have to come home with me. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I guess that's all for now. I'm just going to wait for the food delivery, do some knitting and chill and relax. It was a hectic last hour and a half of work, as usual. It was kind of a steady, calm Friday until everybody gets out of work and then it gets busy right up to close. We didn't even have, we had customers leave at 5.15. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, weather is definitely chilled down. I think it's 53 right now. From what, what did I say it was this morning, 68 or so? Anyway, it's nice and cloudy and fall-like out there. Our vines, which were green, like only just two days ago, um, I have Virginia creeper on the grows up the on our front of the house over the window, and it is starting to turn color now, like almost instantaneously. It was not colored the other day, so hopefully I can get a little bit of that filmed for you tomorrow. But if I don't talk to you again later. Have a good evening.